Hi guys, uh, Bushcraft Woods Devil here. I wanted to show you um, something that I got back at Christmas, and uh, it's a gift from uh, one of my family. And I've been trying to figure out how to use this thing. It's called a um, Marbles uh, Hunk of Steel tool. So it's kind of a um, kind of a spin on the um, steel wallet card uh, type tool. You have this this wrench down here at this end and it, it had a couple of little screwdrivers a little tiny Phillips over here and a tiny slotted over here and then it had the wrenches along here bottle cap lifter over here on an oxygen tank um, wrench here and uh, this is a clinometer. This is for calculating the height of a mountain. It was shown on the uh, information card of the product as a range finder. And uh, I asked around and I could find nothing that indicated it how to calculate range with this. But what you can do is you can figure out the height of a tree if you wanted to drop it, or uh, you could. Um, figure out the height of a mountain that you're looking at if you know the distance to the base of the mountain and then uh, you shoot the angle with uh, the uh, degrees that are on here and then you can use mathematical formulas to calculate the height but um, a lot of these things are not useful to me I don't need wrenches in the woods and like that so I've been oh and it comes with this keychain hook over here uh, I'd been looking at it for a few months, trying to figure out what I could do with this, and so I, I modded it. I ground the um, tips off and made a, a pry bar end over here, which is something I'm more apt to use. And then I, I did a, a flat 90 on the back spine here, and I can scrape it with a ferrule rod. And then on this edge over here, I uh, sharpened it. So I have a, 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 a knife um, and chopping blade. Now what was really kind of annoying me was the wrench uh, fittings because I just don't really need them. So I took a grinder and I uh, cut them, uh, ground them into um, saw teeth. And so like a lot of saws like this, once the flat sides get down into the kerf of the cut, it gets stuck. And that's pretty much true of any kind of sawback survival knife. If you look at a, a saw, and I've mentioned this before, the, the teeth are offset. So they cut a wider cut, a kerf, than the um, width of the saw blade so that it doesn't become stuck um, and you just don't see that on knives and and like that so this will get stuck because of the flat sides but you can notch with it and that's one of the useful things you can do with a sawback knife is you can do notching so I did some notching here to uh, I'm gonna make a just making a stake getting out of frame here but I um, was able to saw, now this is very arduous, this is not an effective saw. Uh, I, like I said, once you get down to the flat, you're going to get stuck. So I was able to cut and chop around the edge here until I could get it down to where I could snap it and finish the job. And then chopping over here. It'll chop. You can chop. It doesn't have the weight, and that's that's the problem with the chopping. It doesn't have the weight, so you can't um, can't really chop very well with it. Uh, but it will do some. And then 
of course, the cutting blade. So, oops. Now, I, because of the saw teeth, I had to make a uh, cover to protect my hand from the saw teeth. So I just made one out of uh, some duct tape and uh, cardboard just to slip over. So protecting my hand. And then you can do push cuts. I'm on the back of the spine here. Hopefully you're seeing that all right. This camera doesn't like to focus up short, so I gotta stay back. I hope it's in focus. So it will do push cuts. So I'm establishing my notch. This would not be my first choice for a, a woods tool. Uh, there's better things, of course. But, like so many things we do in the hobby, it's just fun. You know, it's just fun. So, um, it's interesting to see, take a, an odd tool or a substandard knife or whatever and push it. See what it can do. Because as I've said before, that gator going by, I'm over here at the park, the rangers are busy working. It's a warm day too, hope they drink a lot of water. Um, as I've said before, what's going to carry the day is not the tool, it's your skills. And uh, if you've got legit skills, and I, I, I didn't create this saying, this. Um, this is known around any instructors. More recently, I saw an interview with David Holliday, Holliday, David Holliday, the Desert Dave, and he was talking about a knife, and he said the same thing, same thing. It's just, you know, it's not the tool, it's you. It's what you know and what you can do with it. And if you practice and, and cultivate your skills, and then, you know, if you're in a situation where you, you don't have your favorite tool but you have something substandard you can pull it off so yeah so a nice old fat beefy steak that should stay planted in the ground I don't like them skinny they just pull out like them nice and nice and blunt and smash them into the ground so Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. <laughs> uh, here's the kicker. KnifeCountryUSA.com I'll say that again. KnifeCountryUSA.com This thing right here, a dollar and thirty-five cents. I'll say that again. A dollar and thirty-five cents. So if you're making an order to KnifeCountry.com, um, look up the... Um, hunk of steel, marbles hunk of steel. Maybe you want to try this, maybe you want to play with it. I, uh, marbles, if you're out there listening, I tell you, you could modify this as I've done here, and you could make this a bushcraft tool. Um, supply it with some kind of a cover. But um, this is just fun. This is just me having fun. Um, I've also etched with an electric pencil some information on here to remind me like, how many degrees uh, for an hour of uh, sunset movement, um, length of a kilometer, length of a mile, just so I can, uh, I think I'm going to put tangent on the other side. Oh, there's a ruler up here too. There's a ruler up here on this spine. Anyway, there you have it. I'm going to flip it over. Maybe you can see the logo. Not sure. Marbles. I think it's called the 402, 402, 502. It doesn't matter. Just look up hunk of steel, marbles hunk of steel. Um, I think Smoky Mountain has them too, but uh, Knife Country USA, buck thirty-five, almost giving it away, and um, got a pry bar tip. So anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you today. Get out and have some fun this weekend. Talk to you later. Bye.